You're looking at the video quality of the live CamSync 1080p webcam from Creative, and you're listening to microphone audio from the HS720V2, also from Creative. The folks at Creative sent me these items for review, billing them as the ultimate work from home bundle. I'm going to put them to the test and see if they live up to that claim. Though Creative did send me these items for free, that will in no way influence my opinion of these products. As always, from me, you will get a fair and honest review. And with this being a camera and mic set, I'm going to record as much of this video using these products as possible. So with that being said, let's get on with the review. Camera unboxing is quick with no extra bells or whistles. Inside the camera box, we get the camera and paperwork. It's kind of big for a webcam, but it's not heavy and it feels fairly well constructed from lightweight plastic. It has a privacy cover and quarter 20 threading on the bottom for tripod mounting. It also has the standard collapsible hinge for mounting on top of your monitor or laptop screen. Its USB cable is about 5 feet long and is not detachable. The headset is another basic no frills unboxing. The USB cable has a built-in control for volume and a mute button for the microphone. Setting up both devices is simple. They're both just plug and play. Here I plug both of them into a USB hub and they were both immediately recognized by Windows 10 with no driver installations needed. Setup in both Skype and Zoom is a breeze with both devices and both instantly being picked up by both applications. The built-in mic for the camera was also instantly recognized as an option in both applications. In turn, setting up both devices in OBS Studio was also easy, with both devices being immediately recognized by OBS. The camera shows up as Live Cam Sync 1080p, and the microphone from the headset is recognized as microphone HS-720V2. The microphone of the camera is recognized as Microphone Array Live Cam Sync 1080p Audio. Speaking of, let's do a test of the camera's onboard microphone. Here's an audio test sample recorded with the Creative Live Cam Sync 1080p webcam's onboard microphone. I have the camera about arm's length away, and the mic input level in Windows 10 is set at 66, which is the out of the box level for this camera when I plugged it in. And again, this entire video has been recorded with OBS Studio. There's no need to do a mic recording sample of the headset microphone. As I mentioned before, I've been recording the voiceover of this entire video with the microphone from the headset, and I've just been using Windows 10's default input volume level of 100 for the microphone. You have the option to record in 48,000 or 41,000 hertz with this microphone. I've applied no post-processing cleanup to this mic. What you hear is what you get. There is some flexibility to the mic. You can move it closer or a little further away from your mouth as you see fit. I found that it sounds best just a few inches away from my mouth. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The camera can record at 1080p or 720p capped at 30 frames per second. Overall, I think the video looks pretty bad. This is what I would consider low range webcam quality video. We do have some limited control in the camera settings like exposure, brightness, contrast, hue, white balance, the standard fare. For this particular camera, I would just recommend leaving everything on auto. You're not gonna get that much better picture quality by manually configuring anything. So is this the ultimate work from home bundle? Sadly, no. I wanted to give these products a great glowing product review so that I could maintain a good working relationship with Creative, but I just can't lie to my audience. This is a bad buy. If this webcam were priced under $30, it might be worth it, but that's a stretch. I've messed around with a lot of the settings in the webcam to try and get a better picture, and I'm under studio lighting, and this is the best we're getting. One of the things that I try to do on this channel is to get you the best bang for your buck. And the Nexigo N660P that you're looking at right now only costs a little bit more than the Creative Webcam, and the picture quality is much better, and you have a lot more options with the Nexigo Webcam. As a matter of fact, here's the Nexigo and the Creative Webcam side by side. For like 10 bucks more, you can get the Nexigo 
Let me know in the comments what you would go for. As for the headset, the audio ear set quality sounds good and the mic quality is also pretty good, especially for calls and conferences. But overall, the headset is pretty flimsy in its construction. It is lightweight and it is comfortable, and that's nice, but I personally prefer cups that encapsulate the ear. And I think most people prefer cups that encapsulate the ear. So at 30 bucks, I can't recommend the headset. There are just better options out there in that price range. If it were only 20, I would say go ahead and jump on it. So maybe hold out and watch for a price drop if you're considering this headset. But I think I've covered everything about this camera and headset, so I'm going to wrap this video up with a shout out to my channel supporters. If you would like to support this channel either on Patreon or Ko-Fi, there will be links in the description below. Donations help this channel grow and they're appreciated but never expected. But please remember, the best way you can help this or any other small channel grow is to interact with the content. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time with more money-saving tech tips, tutorials, and tech reviews.